Congressman, we, we haven't had the opportunity to talk since the attack uh, on the Capitol. And I wanted to ask you, because you were one of the 126 uh, congressmen uh, that joined that amicus brief in the Supreme Court to overturn the election, you didn't vote after uh, the attack. You were sick. Uh, would, have you, would have you voted to continue to overturn uh, the election, given, uh, given the attack? Well, no. Uh, and I put out a, a statement. I was diagnosed with COVID the night before, could not vote. I put out a statement as voting began for, uh, for my alphabetical group that, uh, that I would uh, honor the Constitution uh, and accept that, those electoral uh, votes. And I, and I do think uh, you've mischaracterized the amicus brief uh, in a significant way. But nonetheless, uh, I believed it was unconstitutional when Democrats tried this in uh, twice with President Bush and again with President Trump. Uh, in my view, uh, it was un unconstitutional again. So I would have voted to accept those states' electoral slates. Do you have, do you have any second thoughts about, about challenging the results, though? In the courts? Of course not. In the you courts. know, the Texas brief basically said states have the right to choose their electors and to run their elections. It is all states' rights. Uh, the lawsuit essentially asked the Supreme Court, are those states following those own election laws? I think that's the right way to pursue these issues in the courts, rule of law. I think our democracy can, can handle lawsuits. I think the insurrection, though, uh, I think was completely unacceptable. You know, I think there's everyone ought to be held accountable here, uh, and we need answers on how to prevent it in the future. So, Congressman, uh, considering we're, you know, we're still basking in the glow of the, the unity and the inauguration speech and all. Um, do you expect uh, there to be cooperation between the two sides, or do you think the minute one side doesn't get what it wants, that it might go for the, the filibuster to get rid of it? Well, I, I hope there is cooperation. Look, um, the culture I put uh, to work in the Ways and Means of Republicans is wake up every day. Uh, working hard to stop bad ideas, and there are lots of them in Washington, but work equally hard to find common ground. I'm going to take that same approach uh, with this president. I am going to fight those bad ideas, but look, we need to work together where we can. Unity doesn't mean thinking is one brain. It is just a commitment to debating these things civilly, trying to find that common ground. Look, I'm, I'm hopeful we can do that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.